Hello everyone, this is Sneaky Turtle, and today we'll be making a video about Overwatch's newest support hero, Ana. Now, Ana is a support sniper, which is a pretty interesting combination, and she has a rifle that you that also has a scope, obviously. Now, the scope doesn't apply any more damage or healing, and basically. If you shoot your allies, they get healed. If you shoot the enemies, they take damage. And her E ability is basically a healing grenade that also damages your enemies and stops them from being healed. So you could throw it onto like a Mercy and a Reinhardt, and the Reinhardt wouldn't heal anymore. And it also increases the um, healing those your allies take if you get them in it. Now her shift is basically she pulls out her sidearm and she fires it wherever you're aiming it's completely accurate but there's a little delay and basically the round puts your enemy to sleep for quite a while or until they take damage. So it's a good escape for you if you need to. Crap. Oh, man. Now, she doesn't really do a lot of damage, which is one problem with her, and she also doesn't heal very much with each shot. She heals 75 health per allied shot, which isn't too much, especially considering just A lot of things. She also doesn't really heal. she doesn't do too much damage. She does 80 damage whether or not she's scoped in. The scope, unlike Widowmaker, does not increase the um does not increase her damage. And oh man. Alright, now her ultimate, it's okay. Basically it powers up your ally and allows them to do more damage, move faster, and take less damage. Alright, apparently I have it now. Ah, well, I couldn't really fight him. Anyways, the ultimate, I personally feel it's a little too weak. Normally I use it on tanks because they have a lot of health, so they can use it the most like Roadhog or Winston. And I used it on the junk at that time just because I we kinda needed to take the point, so. Now, Anna I think would be great with other healers too. She can't really do the most healing. Ah. Now, I don't really use her shift because there's a delay, so I find it pretty hard to aim. But that shift would be great here, you just shoot the Reaper and he'd go out of his ultimate because it's a, basically a stun like McCree's flashbang, except it lasts a lot longer. Unfortunately, there's a delay, so if you move your crosshairs or they move, you have a high chance of missing. But it works pretty well against large tanks. Alright. Alright. Uh, well, right now I'm just keeping anyone I see alive, and if I shoot an enemy, that's good too. Uh, that's just too low. I got killed by Hanzo's ult right there. Anyways, I don't really... I personally prefer to play her on offense. I don't know why when we're attacking, I seem to do better with her. And she's not like Widowmaker or Hanzo, 
who really just stay in one place and shoot down because she has no skills that allow her to get anywhere. Like Widowmakers. Like Widowmakers cable or Hanzo's just wall climb. She can't get to anywhere high other than taking the long way. Which is one downside of her. So she's gonna be more mobile and on the ground, I think. But she's not necessarily gonna be. But I don't really think she'll be, you know, um, bad as a sniper. She just doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, you can't... She also doesn't have any headshots, so you can't get that headshot boost. Come on. Yeah, I think in the future I have to work with Ana's shift a lot. Like, it would be very, very, very helpful. I'm just not good with it, and it doesn't cross my mind if someone's like chasing me or there's an ultimate. I don't think to use it. <sighs> now. I think in the next games, I'm going to be trying to use her shift more, and I, I don't think I actually will, but I'll try. Now, one thing I don't really get about her scope, as I'll show in the next round, it doesn't really, you know, um, it doesn't really zoom in all that much. Like, it might be a times 2 zoom or whatever, but if you can see on those crosshairs, there's a little gap in between them. Which means it's not the most accurate from far away, but, so that's why I, they gave a scope. Also, in the scope, it fires that beam, whereas when it's an, when you no-scope, it just fires those, basically, syringes. Alright, so hopefully this time I'll use my shift a little more. Yes, I got the Reaper. Oh, the damage. Ah, almost finished him off. I don't want to be here. Get me out of here. Get me out. Get me out. All right. All right. Good. 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 Diva. No. Don't run away, Diva. Please. No. Oh, I missed. Man. See, that's one thing. Like, even though it's designed to work in close range like that, it doesn't actually. Now, this is one. It. Uh. Yeah. I figured as much. Like. I can't really one-on-one -on -one a Reaper with a s weak sniper rifle. It only does 80 damage a shot, and it takes over, and it takes about a second to in between shots. So when you come across a person who has shotguns at close range, you're gonna really lose every time. Ah. Uh, Alright, pretty low, pretty low. I want to take out that Bastion. Uh, pretty low. Alright, now we're going, we're getting heals, we got a team kill, that's nice, that's nice. Alright. 
Now I'm just keeping everyone full. Alright, cool. Now for the next encounter, I'm gonna hang back here. Nope, I'm not going in there. They just comboed really well. Ah, uh, alright. One combo I've noticed is if you're near them and you've already damaged them, you can shoot, then E, and then melee, and that will pretty much kill any 200 hero just like that. I think the E does about 60 damage to enemies, so that plus 80 damage from just the sniper, and I don't remember how much melee does, but that should pretty much take out most of the heroes. Alright, hopefully this diva will cooperate and go in there. Now, I'd much rather use a Winston because they're used really for attacking and doing a lot of damage to squishies, but I think the diva can work too. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on to the point, guys. I'm coming. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Kill them. No, no. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't really do anything. There. She can't take out a whole group of enemies unless they're all really, really, really low. Then you could probably kill them with E. But, yeah. Well, that's one game, alright. Let's just watch this. Oh, I remember this. Alright, so for our second game, we'll be defending King's Row. Now, I think this is a pretty good map for Anna. I actually haven't played it with her yet because she was released yesterday and I actually haven't played this map. So I actually think it will be pretty good because there's a lot of high areas at easily accessible and your teammates tend to clump around in the map so it should be pretty easy to heal them up. Never stop fighting for what you believe in. So I think this should go pretty good. What's now, Eva? it looks like our tank's gonna be a D.Va, which is fine. She was buffed pretty good. But a Winston or a um, Roadhog would have been a lot better. Just for the Nano Boost. And I personally feel the Nano Boost is pretty underpowered compared to the other supports, Ultimates. Like, Mercy can res an entire team, and where and Lucio can buff all those near him, and Zenyatta, he can keep them all fully healed with his ultimate if they're near him. Oh, that's the one problem with her. Oh, good, we have a Winston. She only does it to one person. No one else's, no other support ultimate goes on only one person. It's all for everyone, including Symmetra, even though hers is a teleporter. It still allows them to get back quickly. It's pretty good. And it affects everyone. So, I mean, it's good if you can get it the right way. Ah, got killed just like in the lore by a Widowmaker because I hesitated. Should have got out of there. Yeah, alright. You're not getting rid of me that. So, like, I just feel her <laughs> ultimate. It's not really a game changer 
best. It doesn't affect everyone. Ow. They're about to take it. Aw, oh, now I have to go for the payload. Like, that's one way to do the combo, I guess. Yeah, I don't really want a one-on-one -on -one that guy. Ah, uh, especially because he blows me up instantly. <sighs> yeah, I'm finding that with Ana because she's so new. A lot of the um, a lot of people don't know how to um, group up with her, and I find that I end up getting stuck in one in one-on-ones a lot, which I don't really want to do because she can't dual people she shouldn't be, be okay. direct she shouldn't be in the main fight whoa 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 don't give Anna the power up crap 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 no no, no, no. Yeah. That was pretty good. I went the wrong way. I wasn't sure where it was. And they took the checkpoint. Ah. Well. It's not that long of a march back now. I think they overbuffed Diva. Like, that's just my opinion. I think that her defense matrix now being her alternate fire, that's too good because... The reason I don't normally play her is because she's too weak, not the fact that she can suck up... She can't suck up damage. So that's just my personal opinion about it. I think they should have buffed her damage instead of allowing her to soak up more damage. Cause that just makes her too hard to kill because it's a mech. And it looks like we lost. Ah, whoa, that's a nice skin. I wish I got a skin for Anna. I don't have anything for her. Alright, so now we're going to be attacking on King's Row. That's nice. And hopefully, it's all going to go good. Alright, looks like we got three Annas on the team. That's not a problem. We'll be fine. Alright. <laughs> Never stop fighting for what you believe in. Wow. Failed there. I couldn't even hit the two. There we go, finally. It took six shots in my E and I still didn't even get it. And if you get into trouble, I'll bail you out. I've seen worse. You're going to live. Look, I have nothing for Anna. Not a single thing. That's her. That's the spray I have for her. I could give them one of the boring normal skins that all players can use, but I don't want to. All right, it's about to start. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Wow, died instantly. That's always nice. He did it. He did that pretty good. He blew up everybody. That's, that's nice. This is much better than command.
Alright, good. I healed her up. Now I think Anna, when she's focusing on just one person, she can heal them up pretty quickly, assuming they're cooperating and not moving around. Like, it's hard enough just to hit the enemies, but then your teammates, they're also messing with it. So it's just hard. And I'm not sure how I should be focusing with Ana, whether it's healing or, um, do, or killing. Yeah. Alright, give that junk at the boost. Hopefully he'll... Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Hey, kill that Widowmaker. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Ah, super low, super low. Especially for an Ana. Because she can't really heal herself without her E, which I wasted. Ah, uh, pretty low. But we got A, so now we're going to be moving the payload. That's cool. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, I am fully healed and ready to go. Whoa, stay away from that Reaper. Nope. Ah. Got me. Oh. Alright. Time to go back. No, no, ah. We can't really seem to push the payload past this point. I'm not sure why. We seem to be having some trouble getting it past here. But, oh, good, now we're moving it past the gates. Ah, are you kidding me? There we go. I don't like... Get in there. I'll keep having to waste my E on myself, unless there's other people around, but it's the only way she can heal herself, so fairly necessary, I guess. Ah, oh, come on. No, no, oh, I didn't even see him. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's a nice one. I'll rest when done. Alright, so I got my Q back up, so I'm going to wait for a chance for D.Va or maybe Bastion if he's on the payload. I don't really want to give it to Genji unless he has the ult on. Uh -huh. No! Come on, the diva just got back to the fight. Oh. We're making fair progress on the payload, not like them, but I'm we're, not ready to hang it up. we're getting there. Alright, looks like we just killed three of them. Oh, four. That's nice. Alright, still have my ult up. Now, Ana's pretty hard to play. Like, I believe she is a 3 star, but... I don't think... But I'm normally not very good with snipers. Just... Me. So, I'm sorry if there's a lot of me dying and not a lot of me killing people just because I'm not a very good sniper, and I also think she's a little underpowered when it comes to attacking. I think she's fine healing because of her E also, but I don't know if I need more practice with her or what. But I'm not very good with her yet, and it looks like we're pushing the payload to the second checkpoint, and hopefully we'll escort it successfully. Alright, we got the D.Va. Come on, heal up the Bastion. Alright, cool.
Alright. Ah, that Reaper got me. But I don't know where my team went. Like, Ana cannot win it alone. That's one thing she will never do. Alright, let's just heal that up. That diva up. Okay. Ooh, I got a bunch of people. That's nice. Ah! So many explosives. Alright. I like how the payload will heal you up kind of like Lucio. Yes. Oh man, I'm pretty li ah. Well, almost worked. I threw my E instead of actually shooting. So. They're pushing the payload back, we can't seem to break this point, but that's okay. This is normally a... Ugh! Heal, 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 heal. Okay, okay. Seems we've gotten out. Eh? Ah. Oh. Alright, kill them all up. Ah. I got that diva. Crap, where's that reaper? He's causing way too much. Aggravation. Yeah. Probably should have stopped him. I heard him. That's a pretty good Reaper. Ah, uh, so we have about a minute 30 left. And if we got some momentum, we'll be able to do this. Hopefully one of my teammates has, your, has a good ultimate up. Wow, that's a... That Zarya is just tearing us apart. Ah, I missed him. No, no, are you kidding me? I hit the D.Va instead of the Bastion. No. Those Reapers are too good, man. I believe they actually have two of them. Yeah, no, just one. One thing that annoys me, like, it's just me, but when you're trying to, like, snipe an enemy and you have teammates in front of you, you'll heal them instead because they're closer. That's just one thing that I personally do not like very much. Now, that's how it works, and that's just my fault. Okay, we seem to be pushing the payload now. No, ah, shit. Just leave. Yeah, I'm pretty bad with Ana. But you can't get better with her without trying. But she's gonna need a lot of practice before anyone gets really good with her. Now, Looks like we're pushing the payload. Hopefully the new overtime rules won't take us to lose. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! 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 
All right, and there we go. That was a good win. So after the play of the game, I'm gonna wrap it up. All right, let's watch this. Okay, this is the enemy Bastion. Apparently, moving his left and his right hand. That was pretty good. All right, so this is Sneaky Turtle, and I'm gonna stop. So have a great day. Bye. Epic.